trusted by Australian trades for decades. I wasn't expecting a uh, a bag. I guess that goes. Yeah. I don't know. Gotta be honest, the one thing that is selling me on these at the moment is the fact that they come with the battery holder. That is killer. Add it to the battery wall over there. As you can see, I've already got one. Uh, waiting to come live up here. A little two amp hour. It was one of those Father's Day deals, so it didn't really matter that much. And then... This is straight out of the box, eh? It just... That makes... This could might as well just be anything in red, and then you just fucking... The, the glue, it reminds me of something, I don't know what that, but it's like, a, it's, it's, that's a fail, eh? Like. That is one of the biggest fucking failures. It's just screams, screams poor quality. It's like those brands, like Caterpillar does it, a few others do it where they just loan out their name to any old Chinese manufacturer. They pay them a price, put their name on it, and, uh, Everyone trusts King Chrome. It's been around for a long time. Like all their spanners and whatever are brilliant. But then, then this just comes along. You know. So I just took a look at the grease gun. It's happening on the grease gun as well. There's, there's, there's stuff there. Uh, this placard's completely gone on the uh, on the polisher, and now I'm just left with a a a gooey gooey ball of snot. I went down to the local super cheap where these are the only place there and um, on all the display models that the labels just peeling off and I mean this is probably gonna work absolutely fine a little shop back uh, shop blower all shop blowers are essentially the same they all work essentially the same amount like uh, no problems with this just being a standard thing but just that quality like why couldn't you afford to at least get king chrome in the in the molding process like have you just bought a completely different mold where they leave this placard out there and you can just can i contact some company and just get my shitty little name put on this thing without any care in the world is that is that where we're at with this it's not ideal look i've got the grease gun i got this blower i'm keen to see what else they make but this is one hell of a turn off. That just screams it's like zombie brand, just dead, dead in the water. Whoever, whoever made this decision, it's, I mean, just the glue. You could have got away with it for longer, but this is straight out the box. And this is me walking into the store and having a look at their on display models. You definitely don't want this on display. Anyone walking around a physical shop looking at something, thinking about buying it. And you see your, your brand is like peeling off there. Is it because it's made out of this um, this rubber that you can't glue it on down? It's just bad decision. Like, if that's the case, how long until this overmolding just starts peeling off the same? Like, you're using the same glue or is that different? You just bought these and just put this on after. I don't know. This seems consistently on there, but it's also a harder, more rigid like branding. If I was them, I'd get rid of this straight away for something hard and more rigid and just hope that people don't get the reputation out there in your flagship line that it's just rebranded Chinese crap. Because, I mean, they came out strong with a big warranty, year-long warranty, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, it just doesn't seem, it doesn't match the quality. It's, they should stick to their uh, 
Katana or whatever they've got that competes with Ryobi as a home brander. Because that, that's just, I don't know why it's so upsetting, but it, it's almost offensive. 